beautiful people. So today I'm probably going to be talking about how I lost weight, my weight loss journey, and maybe just giving some advice and tips on how I did it. Psych. Actually, I want to talk about why I don't talk about my weight or my weight loss journey and maybe offer some words of advice or positivity for anyone who clicked on this video for the wrong reasons. Get one thing clear, I'm definitely not a weight loss influencer. I'm just a curvy woman. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a specialist on weight loss. Weight is such a complex topic already to talk about, so I don't think I'm the person to talk about those things in specifics. Who am I to tell you what's healthy and what's not? I'm not qualified for that. It's not my role to play. Over the past year, my weight has fluctuated so much and people have had a lot to say about that in my comment section. If I were to believe all the comments I got on my weight loss, I'm either um, too big or I'm too small. I am definitely guilty of letting comments get to me and paying way too much attention to them. Am I plus size? Am I curvy? Um, I actually don't know anymore. I've allowed these comments to get to me and I've allowed them to warp my perspective of myself. We seek others approval and that goes into a lot of um, kind of what I'm going to talk about today. Do I really even need to label myself? And the answer is I don't know yet because it's something I'm working on. Growth is growth and I'm just going to share with you guys what I've learned so far. Hopefully I can share with you guys maybe what I think of that topic soon, um, but it's definitely still confusing for me. Which is exactly why I shy away from talking about my weight loss. I don't want it to be confusing for anyone else. And the toxicity I have received from losing weight is actually kind of unprecedented. It wasn't everyone, it's just people that really become the thing that they hated. Kind of like an us versus them mentality. <laughs> In the past, I would say a year ago, um, I would constantly compare myself to other women I saw on the internet. Friends of mine that I won't name names, that I was friends with other influencers that were models, I would see their measurements on their agency that they were signed to and I'd be like, oh my god, like, you know, why, why can't my measurements look like that? I'm the same height as them, why don't, why can't my body look like theirs? I would be in the mindset where I would ask like, you know, what's your diet like? What, how do you work out? What do you do to work out? And the only reason I was asking was to compare myself to those women and tear myself down. Well, you need to be doing this and you need to be doing this. You're not doing enough, you're doing too much. And whatever the answer was, it was never positive for me to know that information. I never got a, the thing I was seeking by knowing that information. In my mind, I don't want to continue that cycle. It was a really low place in my life. I would never want to share that toxicity with someone else. You know, if I never got the answer I was hoping for, then it just kept continuing in this cycle of just self-hate. Everyone's bodies are different anyway. Like me asking about someone's diet, um, I'm never gonna, <laughs> like my body is not gonna react the same way to a diet as someone else's is. Everyone's bodies are different. They react differently to different things, different workouts, different diets. We all have different sleeping habits and eating habits and we're just not the same, period. And that's a great, beautiful thing because we're all different and beautiful in our own way, but it really sucks when you are trying to match these beauty standards. And I, I was really tough on myself about that. But I can only imagine kind of what's going through their mind when they ask me, because I know how I was. And I don't want to help the cycle continue. I feel like I'm going to get comments talking about how being plus sized or curvy or whatever, I'm not sure yet, I identify as is unhealthy. But the only reason, in, in my experience, people have asked me or criticized me for not being healthy is because I'm plus size. Like, I get less comments now than I did when I was bigger about my health. And um, from my experience, I have noticed that less and people that match different beauty standards because um, the question is not if you are healthy or not, the question is if you match this beauty standard or not. And um, I've had family members like tell me like, if you wanna be a model, then you need to lose weight. If you wanna be an actress, then you need to lose weight. That was, you know, it was so hurtful at the time. I was just so 
insecure everywhere we went because of that comment. And from then on, I've, I've, I've not let things hurt me as much. That's just my experience, and that's why I don't talk about it. Knowing that, please don't ask me again. If you do, I'm just gonna link you this video, and that's how I'm gonna operate from now on. So I just wanna say that any beautiful person comparing themselves to me, you know, it really hurts my heart because everyone's beautiful in their own way. And I know what that feels like and I know how hard it is to stop that. Your worth is not dictated by what you look like. I'm not just saying that because it's gonna be like as soon as I say, oh, you know, I'm cured, I'm, I'm done thinking like that. Like that's not how it works, I understand. I hope that this kind of offers some insight into what I was feeling and maybe you can connect with that and this helped you in some sort of way because I totally get it. Um, wanting to meet beauty standards is something I still struggle with. Please remember to treat yourself with kindness and compassion. Um, I have another video up here where I talk about maybe some self-confidence advice. The one that was always most helpful to me, and I'll say it here, is talk to yourself like you're talking to a friend. Would you talk to a friend the way that you're talking to yourself? The answer is probably no. And just to be kind to yourself because it's really important uh, for growth. And growth is not linear, so don't be so hard on yourself if it doesn't happen right away because it's not going to. I'm still working on it, and I will be forever because growth is never ending. All right, guys, bye.